Shooting stars, lunar eclipses, twinkling auroras. Often a simple glance at the sky is enough to convince anyone of the natural beauty of the universe. While the moon and the thousands and thousands of stars greet us from the firmament every night, other astronomical phenomena happen far less frequently. In this video, we'll tell you which 10 unique spectacles in the universe are as rare as they are breathtaking. Want to join us on our journey to the most fascinating phenomena and groundbreaking discoveries in the universe? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and activate the bell to never miss one of our videos in the future. Feel free to show us you like the content of our posts with a thumbs up. Total Solar Eclipse When the moon appears to move in front of the sun, turning broad daylight into pitch black night for a short time, we call it a total solar eclipse. What in the past was attributed to the influence of supernatural deities has in reality a background we can explain and understand within our earthly means. In order for a solar eclipse to come about, the sun, moon, and earth must stand in line with one another. It's only when the center of the moon's disk moves over the center of the sun and completely covers our central host star, that this breathtaking constellation, called a total solar eclipse, occurs. While this spectacle already leaves ordinary observers agape, it has an even more extraordinary significance for experts. This is due to the fact that the solar corona, or in other words, the area of the solar atmosphere located above the chromosphere, is only visible during this particular time of eclipse. The last time such an event took place was in November 2012. Forecasters say we will have to wait more than 130 years before we can marvel at the next total solar eclipse. Churumov Gerasimenko the so-called Churumov-Gerasimenko comet has already helped experts reach several milestones. For example, this projectile first discovered in 1969 was the first comet in history to be accompanied by a space probe and to have a lander land on it. In order to circle the sun once, the approximately two-mile-long space rock needs about six years. The object has its origin near Neptune, where it was once the component of a larger ice body. Blue Moon at first glance, one might assume that the term blue moon describes a rare event in which Earth's natural satellite presents itself in a brilliant blue color. In reality, however, this circumstance refers to the case when a second full moon occurs within a month. On average, this happens about every 2.5 years. Originally, this term really referred to a condition when the moon shimmered bluish in the night sky. While such phenomena were associated with astronomical events in past centuries, experts now believe that the observed bluish tint of the Earth's satellite was created by terrestrial processes, such as volcanic eruptions. Leonids it's said that when we see a shooting star in the sky, we should make a wish. Should you want more wishes than you can count, you should keep an especially close eye on the night sky in the weeks of November. According to this, between the 6th and 30th of November, every year a fascinating spectacle takes place in the firmament, which is called the Leonids. This is an impressive meteor stream that rains countless shooting stars across the sky. Every 33 years, this spectacle picks up speed. As soon as our blue home planet crosses the orbit of comet Temple Tuttle, the number of visible Leonid meteors increases again rapidly. In such cases, we can marvel at several thousand shooting stars in the night sky within an hour. The records from the year 1833 even say that 200,000 of these sparkling formations were observed per hour at that time. Venus Transit if you missed the last Venus transit on June 6, 2012, we unfortunately have bad news for you. The next one will not take place until December 11, 2117. This means the time when our direct neighbor planet passes visibly in front of the sun. Venus presents itself as a deep black, small spot on the sun's disk. Since the orbits of Earth and Venus are somewhat inclined to each other, this rare phenomenon occurs only four times in 243 years. Hale-Bopp. It is July 23, 1995, 
when two independent astronomers locate a conspicuous structure in the night sky. In detail, the galactic object was located in the globular cluster, M70, in the constellation Sagittarius. Later, it would become clear what a literally brilliant discovery had been made with the identification of the comet. This flying body, which was named Halebop after its two discoverers, was considered the brightest known comet for several decades. In fact, Halebop could be observed with a naked eye in the firmament over a period of one and a half years. After being studied in detail for many months, the structure began to gradually fade in the fall of 1997. Experts generally believe that no comet has ever been seen by as many people as Halebop. At the turn of the millennium, experts were still able to observe the object, which is about 36 miles wide, with the help of telescopes. Currently, however, the comet completely eludes our terrestrial gaze. Due to its apparent brightness, it's extremely difficult to distinguish the projectile from background galaxies. Future generations might have more luck. According to scientific forecasts, Halebop will return to visible space in the year 4419. Great White Spot a look at the so-called Great White Spot shows which elemental forces are inherent in the processes of the universe. This storm formation on Saturn is very different from its terrestrial counterparts. In detail, the intensity of the lightning discharges there is a thousand times greater than incomparable phenomena on Earth. At the same time, ten lightning bolts crash through the atmosphere within a single second. This rumbling weather event occurs about every 30 years on Saturn, namely when summer begins on the iconic ringed planet. The great white spot forms within a few days until it finally reaches an enormous diameter of almost 5,000 miles. How exactly the storm cloud on Saturn is formed is still a mystery. The evidence gathered so far suggests that the white clouds form when warm air rising by convection transports frozen ammonia particles into the troposphere. Halley's Comet Within the list of the known comets, Halley's Comet has come to some fame. The very light rocky missile is one of the best known formations of its kind amongst the general public. As soon as the object, which has already been known to mankind for many centuries, approaches the Earth, it can be observed easily with the naked eye in the starry sky. However, this happens on average only every 75.3 years. The last time Halley's Comet passed close to Earth was in 1986. Consequently, its return is dated the year 2061. Just like its cosmic counterparts, the comet named after the English astronomer Edmund Halley is losing more and more matter. This is due to the steady release of dust and gases as a result of more intense solar radiation. When the object is close to the sun, it loses about 50 tons of its own mass. Within a single second, the material the comet loses during its journey through the universe is responsible, among other things, for two meteor streams, namely the Orionids, which can be observed every year in October, and the Eta Aquarids in May. Planetary Parade The informal term planetary parade refers to an astronomical phenomenon in which the planets of the solar system line up in the same area of the sky as seen from Earth. Depending upon the number of the involved celestial bodies, one speaks thereby of a mini, a small, or a large planetary parade. It's important to mention here that the corresponding planets will never arrange themselves in a perfectly straight line. This is simply because the respective celestial bodies orbit the Sun on different planes. On the 4th of July of last year, an extremely rare planet parade took place. Indeed, all representatives of our domestic planetary system and the dwarf planet Pluto lined up on one side of the Sun at the same time. The next time this will be the case will be in 2161. Ison. After Comet Ison was discovered in September 2012, experts had high hopes that the object would soon reach unparalleled brightness and become visible to the naked eye. The comet was showered with some galactic hype. Quite a few experts thought it likely that the object would become 12 times brighter than the full moon near the sun and form an imposing tail that could even be detected in the daytime sky. So it didn't take long before Ison was dubbed Comet of the Century by the media. A comparison with reality, however, painted an extremely sobering picture. In fact, the body could only be observed with optical aids before it completely dissolved during its close flyby of the sun. Now it's your turn. Which of the featured astronomical events intrigued you the most?
Do you know of any other breathtaking spectacles in the universe that didn't make it into today's post? We're already looking forward to your comments. Finally, feel free to take a look at the other videos on our channel that we've linked for you in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.